tonight. Denver returns to the Mile High City to take on the New York Knickerbockers. The Knicks are rolling. They have won 12 of the last 13. They are fourth in the East right now. Together on three. One, two, three. Nuggets leading dunker gets another one. It's a pick from Aaron Gordon. Gets down to the elbow. They let him go. He dumped it home again. Two dunks by Nikola Jokic within 35 seconds. Oh, what a pass, Compazzo. Yeah, that's number three right there. Yeah. Hey, baby. Jokic at the elbow. Runs in on Gibson. Dunked again. And the Nuggets lead it by 20. Man, he's come to play. Yeah, he really has. Boy, New York can't, they can't guard him at all. What did you think of your four guns? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, it was uh, Tiger guns. You know what's Tiger gun? Uh, almost. Randall has it on the high left side over to Derrick Rose. Picked out of, out of his pocket and cleaned by Rivers. He gets a layup. That one's up and in. 56 to 28 Denver. Given your history with New York and what happened earlier this year, how sweet was tonight um, for you? Yes, I was... <laughs> see you smiling already, <laughs> look at you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tonight felt good, man. Tonight was a good one. Tonight was a good one. Uh, it, was, it was more special just because of how we played, man. I mean, we dominated the whole game. You know what I mean? We dominated on both ends of the floor. Um, it, was, it was almost as if the whole team took it personal, you know what I mean? And, and, and that was a good feeling to have, you know, I feel like they had my back. For Rivers, three-pointer, and he got it again. Austin Rivers has shaked off the rust. So I was just, I was just rooting for him all night. He's also struggled a couple games with us, so to see him just thrive tonight and, and get buckets, it was, it was a welcome sight to see. Junior. Mike has it top of the key to Rivers. He'll try another three. Got it again. Kids on fire. That's going to help down the stretch. Nuggets in an absolute beatdown from the jump. Take care of one of the hotter teams in the NBA. They beat the Knicks 113-97. to Congratulations, man. That's a, that's a really big win. 34-9 when we got rebound our opponent. Faku, 16, nine rebounds, four assists. Wow. Five steals and two blocks. Wow. And two blocks. Great job. Off the rivers. I knew you could make a shot eventually. Great job. 25 off the bench, six made threes. Family on three. One, two, three. season they are fourth in the west a half game back of the clippers for the three seed and that brings us to tonight and the utah jazz the jazz have won three straight they remain in the top spot in the west utah has the best home record in the nba they've lost just four games all season Two, but both of those were in Denver. There's only one game in Utah. 
this regular season, and this is it. Whoever wins tonight will win the season series and hold the tiebreaker. Rebound, Faku Kampasso. Kampasso has been a whirlwind on defense. There he goes, and he lays this it. This is definitely in. a little bit of a rivalry, so it's always going to be this physical when we match up. It's always going to be a good game, uh, but we're excited to, to see them in the playoffs, hopefully down the road, because it's, it's exciting to play against those guys. We've played them uh, in the playoffs. We've played them a bunch now. Uh, they know us. We know them. Two really talented basketball teams that play the game the right way. And I would agree. I think almost all these games are competitive and go down to the wire. You just have to defend without fouling. Keep up that foul line, right? Fourth quarter defense, man. You know, we just tried to continue to, to make them work on the offensive end. You know, I, I felt a few times we played really good defense and they um, they hit some shots. But um, again, you know, I, I think they got a little bit too comfortable um, and that's on us, you know, we could have done better. Bogdanovich for a new career high. He's got it. Boyan Bogdanovich. Well, that's going to do it. A frustrating loss for Michael Malone and the Denver Nuggets. The Jazz get the W. They win the season series uh, two to one. We lost twice against them this year, uh, and the two losses against them, one at home and one tonight, uh, were games that were very, very competitive as well. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to see these guys in the postseason. Thank you. I don't want to get in your photo, man. You'll know. get a million hits if I get in there. Tonight, the 44 and 23 Denver Nuggets are at Ball Arena to take on the 43 and 24 Brooklyn Nets. This is the final home game for the Nuggets. They close the season with a four game road trip that starts Tuesday in Charlotte against the Hornets. Together in three, together in three. One, two, three. Yeah. Durant has it quickly across the timeline. Taken away from behind by Campazzo. Campazzo quickly up the floor, driving it his quarter three. Yes! Um, obviously, we got off to a great start. Um, you know, they closed that second quarter uh, on a run, but the start of that third quarter, Katie, and third quarter overall was just uh, awful. 41 points allowed. Uh, they shot 84% for the third quarter, and they were 9 of 12 from the three-point line. Silver lining, Marcus Howard, Vladko, guys that got a chance to play, Bo, uh, they got a chance to play some real game minutes, and uh, those guys did a pretty good job. Cha-Cha trying to go screen and roll. It's not there. Corner three on the way. Howard buries it. You know, some guys out, so it's the next man up mentality, and. Um, it's just about staying ready, you know, um, we've worked extremely hard this year. Guys that play, guys that don't necessarily play a whole lot. So it's just about continuing to put in the work and when your time comes and your numbers call, you just have to be prepared and be ready. He's played well so far. Going to take a 15-footer, that's good. What's got in the Marcus Howard? It, it, it's called, it's called prime time. You know, I'm fortunate to be around, you know, a bunch of great guys and veterans that, you know, really take me under their wing and kind of show me the ropes and encourage me in ways, you know, um, whether it's working out or whenever I get time to play in a game, you know, they're always having um, something to say in my ear about, you know, just being the player that I am, being aggressive, and, you know, if they see, if I see a shot, you know, to take it. Howard trying to get around Kyrie, does all the way, lay it up in the Boy, that is for the youngster Marcus Howard. Really happy for Marcus. Uh, that kid has just worked his butt off the whole year long. And uh, you know, to throw him out there in the middle of the game, first half, meaningful minutes, uh, it was great to see him go out there and, and respond and produce the way he did. So uh, happy for Marcus as a, as a side note. A night where you, know, you want to, of course, end with the win. Um, that's what's most important, but um, you know, just to, have the, the season that a guy like me in my situations had to, you know, have to be patient and wait and continue to work. Um, you know, it was it was pretty cool to see kind of just the fruits of that labor being put to you. So um, I'm fortunate, but I understand, you know, I have a long way to go and um, I'm just looking forward to the next time I'm able to get in the gym and, you know, just work on my game.
to us. I know we just got off the plane. Get a little force. Hey, quick, quick mic in real quick. Hurry up we, while we have the hoop. Six, one, two, three, four. Flow game, left, right, two feet. Uh, three of them, five spots. Here we go. Back. Two. Yeah, look that way. We'll find out tomorrow. Make five, mid-range. Here we go. Last two, Boney, last two. One. Here we go. One. Good, high pick and roll, high pick and roll. Good. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Way to make them work. There you go. Head up, head up. Good. Good defense, Boney. Why'd you do <laughs> You had it right there, you open. <laughs> so now I want game speed. You should be loose by now. Last thing, come on. Everything pace, get there. Nice. Good contest. Free throws. Get out of here. Good work, Ted. Feel good. Been a little long process. So just happy to get back out there, help the team. And it's just cool. <laughs> Shout out to JB. We be getting it in. He does all the sprints with me during my rehab. You know, he's not just a home court guy. He get it in with me behind the scenes. So when a guy do that, it's easy to, you know, listen to him because, you know, he know what he's talking about and he actually worked with you. So that was big. Sure. Great picture. Uh, give me a percentage of your money. for three and he gets it. Uh, after losing at Utah, losing at home to Brooklyn, um, granted those are two really good teams, but uh, we wanted to find a way to not only clinch, but get back to feeling good about how we're playing. Uh, and that was my challenge pregame and also at halftime. Now Monte Morris on the dribble drive, beats his man, got it. What patience he just had. I've been, you know, working, working my tail off. So, I mean, tonight it felt good to just get out there with my timing and just know everything was still there in my game, still feel there in my shot, feel good. Campasso for three, yes! Faku Campasso from distance, make it 112-107. So the Denver Nuggets pick up an important road win. They're going to beat the Hornets for the fifth straight time and they clinch home court advantage in round one. Oh, on a serious note, man, that clinches home court advantage, and Tim gave me some news walking in. Uh, last three years, we're the only team in the Western Conference to have home court advantage every season. All right, so you guys deserve a ton of credit. It's been a long year. It's been a hard year in a lot of different ways. We've got three games to go. Let's keep on moving in the right direction. All right, way to come back and get this win tonight, man. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Congratulations. All right,